What's up, y'all? It's me. I'll come to you guys with another episode. This is going to be an interesting episode. <clears throat> and this episode is not about the, the pigeon itself. It's more so about our hobby. We'll direct them talk to 9A, Region 9A. It's crazy because when they first said we need a regional director, R.D., I thought to myself, I can do that. I should do that. And part of me said, nah, I don't do, do it, man. They ain't going to appreciate what you're really trying to do. So, and then I seen who was running. Uh, so I said, you know what? Just for the sake of the hobby, because experience, I'm going to do it. I mean, for the sport in, um, in our Southern California area, in our region. I'm gonna do it. It's crazy because when I started, I knew some guys weren't gonna appreciate the work that, that's being done. Some guys gonna complain and cry and complain and cry about everything, everything under the under, under, the, under the umbrella. And then you present these people with a chance to talk about or discuss things to make it better. They shut their mouth. If they want to talk, talk and say stuff, you know. I hear, I hear stuff. But stuff get around, man. It's the streets. It's the, it's the bird game. You know, it's not serious. It's not like the street, street. It's just their version of the street, the little girl version of the street. But they talk and complain, and you hear stuff. But me, I don't really care because most of them will say stuff about me or whatever. But they won't say nothing to me. I haven't given them a forum to talk to me. They can talk about anything. They want to talk about anything what they're interested in. What they do is, I'm tripping off this because they hide behind the internet. My number been the same for, how old is Paris? Paris is going to be 26. My number been the same, and my number been the same for 22 years. Same, same self for 22 years. I ain't changed it. I just recently changed my address, really, but I was still in the same neighborhood, a couple of blocks away. I was on 8th, 3rd, now I'm on 79th. So they can come talk to me about anything. If there's something you want to know about, they can come talk to me. If they don't, they choose not to. They're able to discuss and talk with each other. I mean, it's like, like I can't even say it's like girls, because girls will get hard and then come out and say something. But they ain't got to do that. I'm giving you an opportunity to come talk to me. I want to make this, this 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 region good, man. But we don't have no good people. You need good people to make things better. And if they're not trying to be good people and make it better, it's not gonna happen no matter what I do. So over the last since forever, the RDs in our region have been coming out their pocket to make stuff happen. I refuse to be one of those RDs. I told, I said that if, if it came to a point of me having to come out of my pocket, that judge would be right on my couch sleep before I go in my pocket or take some on my bank account like that for a region that don't appreciate it. I'm not doing it. So I said, I don't have to do this. I know what to do. I'm going to put me an auction on. I'm gonna call some guys up, say I'm gonna give an auction, give an auction. So when it comes down to paying for this, um, the judge giving him, give him a place to sleep, uh, uh, lay his head while he's here, he got one. He don't have to be on my couch. And that's the main reason I did it. But for some reason, some of these self centered, selfish ass grown men. I want to sit back and wait to see what I'm going to do with some money that they ain't helped me earn. they like they're entitled. Well, I'm here to tell you, you guys are not entitled to nothing. I'm not going to give nothing to nobody who don't want to represent or support this region. I'm telling you that. The judge will come here, he will be comfortable, well taken care of. All the prelims judges, finals judges, 
every bit be taken care of. And whatever else need to be paid for will be done. If I decide to, to help you guys, which I don't think I need to, because if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, you would be paying full price. You'd be paying anywhere between eighty and hundred dollars for five your kits. I mean, fifty for one kit and another fifty for the for the second kit. Period. If I cancel this, the thing I say, guess guess what you guys will be doing. But I won't do that. I'm not gonna quit. So I don't quit. I'm not gonna quit. Now, I have some stuff. I have, I have some real good stuff planned. Well, you guys got support. Got so much you want you with the back and support. If you support me, I got you. But you, the people who know me know me. No, the people who know me know me. If you support me, I got you. But if you don't. You gonna have you gonna have you gonna have hard hard time. You gonna have a lot of hard feelings all the time. Cause I'm not bending for you. This is about flying rollers. This is not you not you guys are not my sons or my nephews or my kids. You guys are not even kids. You guys are grown men. My father once said to me, "A man pays for his stuff. If somebody gives you something, it still belongs to them. If you didn't pay for it." You don't own it. So, I'm seeing to say that if I want to done this this auction, which is a shame that, that it's coming down to this. If I want to done this auction, what you guys would have done? See, I'm waiting here thinking because you would you would still pay your regular price, or you wouldn't have flew. And that's the same way it's going to be for right now. I got some stuff planned, but I'm not going to say nothing until I see the support. Now, like I said, you support, I got you. Just trust me. If you support me, I got you. Um, there's people who support me and things I do, no matter what it is. Uh, sports. If I, want to, if I want to do a basketball tournament right now, I can reach out to people and get free uniforms, probably ch maybe free shoes, and put on a bomb, as, a bomb tournament. Because I supported so many people in so many different things over the years. You know what I'm saying? So, there are people that, that, that live to the, the perfect name for them is haters, because they are haters. I'm not, it's not about that though. This is about taking our region, man, and making it great, or making it good and competitive. But we can't be competitive if we're not flying. So we got to get out there and put these birds up and start flying. Now, I'm gonna do something right now on the air. It's gonna get around. I ain't gotta tell everybody because, could do. Cause we got a lot of dudes that's made like girls out there. They're gonna start talking anyway. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do it right now. So. There are guys who paid 50 bucks already, way back months ago, to fly, for this fly. I have enough flyers to probably do two kits almost. I mean, two, two qualifiers right now. I can just say forget it and say September 1st is the deadline. I'm gonna say, I say September 7th though. But, so, those guys that paid their 50 already, you have 40 going toward your first kit, you have 10 going towards your second kit. Those guys are already paid. I know who you are. Your names are written down. For you guys, I'm going to go 40 and an additional 20 for your second kit. You already paid the 50. So you only need 20 more dollars. You got two kits in for $70. That's $35 a piece. That's just for the guys that already paid their 50 already. To support and get this region cracking. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of support we need. See, if you have my back, I, I'm telling you, I have yours. Ask anybody. Real, talking about some real, you want to go real street stuff? Ask my people. If I got it, it's, it's like, I ain't the kind of dude that's going to say, yeah, I got this money. It's mine. No. If I get this money, we all eating. But, Dude, 
Don't start tripping off money that we ain't even earned yet. The money ain't even here, and you guys are already crying about money. And the people that's crying, what's making what's make it so bad is the ones that haven't even lifted their finger to help out at all. Let me ask you a question. I'm talking to you guys that cry and, and worry about where the money going. How many birds have you donated so far? Have you offered to donate a bird? Have you offered to pay some money to help to pay for the judge? What about when G. Will was in the office for four years? How many of you guys said, G. Will, you need some money to help pay for the judge? How many of you guys did that? None of y'all. But I know one dude that always offer money or what, if you need money to help. One. I know guys that offer his time. I know a couple of guys do that too. But that's a handful of guys in a region that got about 70, 80 flyers. You know what I'm saying? And you guys crying. You guys know we're doing auction. Why don't you, you give a, a bird to help, help our auction? Could you worry about what I'm going to do with the money? Let me tell y'all something so y'all get y'all straight real quick. If I really want, if I want to make money quick, I know how to get money. Don't get it twisted. I know how to get out there and get money. I know what to do. But, but sooner or later, you got to take responsibility for everything. It's not just me no more. I have grown children and I have grandchildren. Several grandchildren. I have brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews. I don't have no parents. Out of all my cousins, me and my twin brother are the oldest. We the oldest ones. And do you know why my family always respect me? Because I never did nothing wrong. Never did my family wrong. And I've never did you guys wrong. I mean, sometimes, I mean, one time the money felt, shh, that money we pay don't cover nothing. If we send 50 bucks in for the first kid and then we keep a certain money or the second kid, that don't pay for those, no judges. Guys, it don't. And I'm not, I'm not paying for it out of my pocket. I, I, I said that. I told my, my girl that's look. If it comes, I'm not paying out, out, the, out of my pocket. So if it came down to that, I will make that judge com comfortable as possible. Even if we had to let him sleep in our room and we slept in the, another room. I'm just saying. But I, I'm not, I refuse to have to spend my, come in my pocket. No, that's not fair. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to my family. It's not fair. It's not fair. So, so you guys that go around crying and snickering and, and mumbling behind people back like little girls, it's unfair. It's not fair. I have two years to try to bring, bring this stuff together. And I'm going to try to bring it together. Whether it's 30 or 40 of us or 60, 70 of us. But it's going to, we're going to, I'm going to get it together. You know what I mean? I'm going to get it together. If I just have to take this 20 kits and turn it in and we just go with it, that's what it'll be. And I'm telling you guys, don't worry about what I'm doing with the money. It's, it's safe. It's, it's, I'm not doing what you want to do with it. That's, that's what's not going to happen. If you're a grown man, pay for your own your, your own kit, your own first kit. Just pay for the first one and see what happens. Be a man. Stop being a little girl, a little boy asking for something, asking for somebody to give you something all the time. And I know some people going gon gon gonna look at this and hear this and gonna say, man. He talking about me like I always say in my podcast. If you think I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you. Because you're feeling some kind of way because that's how you're thinking. Because if you ain't thinking that way, it ain't going to bother you. But if, you. but if it bothers you, yes, that's how you're thinking right now. We can, we can have, we got enough people to have a bomb region. In, in spite of the BOPs. But in spite of that. You can't help each other. Because dudes worry about well, next man. Who's getting over? You guys worry about stuff you have no control over. You have no control of the stuff you worry about. There's a prayer you guys need to say every morning. It's called a serenity prayer. You guys need to say that. A lot of some, well, some of you guys need to say a prayer. In case you don't know how it goes, it goes, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can't, and the wisdom to know the difference. The wisdom to know the difference between the things I can and cannot change. Every morning. And just think about that 
it, you'll, be, you'll be a better person. You can't control some stuff. You can't. And you can't control me. I'm not gonna let you control me. I'm not gonna let you manipulate me. It's not gonna happen. You can complain about how I judge. So what? That's just how I judge. That's how I see it. I'm, my job is not to judge the way you want me to judge. My job is to judge the way I've, I've been taught to judge. I've learned to judge, and the way I, I, I want people, people to judge me. That's 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 how I judge. Just like that. I don't show favorites. I don't give my friends no breaks, and I don't give my and I don't treat my enemies hard. Because if I don't like you, it don't mean nothing. I'm still gonna judge you the same way. All right. So let's get the, so those who gonna fly, hit me up. You guys know my number. You know know where I am. You got Facebook. You guys know all that. The ones who wanna fly, hit me up. The ones who don't, we'll see you next year. If not, somebody else will see you after that. I'm gonna go this year. I'm gonna go hard again next year, and you guys don't understand the whole point of, of me doing this this, this, this this auction. You guys don't get it. It's not to help you guys pay for your stuff. It is, it is, but the judges is first. That's the first thing. And I'm not gonna I don't, I'm not gonna use up everything. Cause what I'm gonna do is try to have some carry for the next season. We got another season coming. I don't want to have to do another ask people for birds again. For another, cause some guys give birds to every auction. So I don't want to put that on most guys. I don't want to put that on. So you make enough for year, it'll be this year and then carry over next year. And we good. I was focusing more on it on next year. It was going to be our breakout year. This year was setting everything up. But you guys don't like, you guys don't like organization. I'm not a guy who's going to hang around and be friends and friends with you just just to, so you can like me because I don't care if you like me or not you know it, it's not gonna you like me ain't gonna pay no bills for me and you not and you not like me ain't gonna stop me from getting my bills paid so don't get that twisted either to all to all you people who, who helped us out and donated the birds I appreciate it. I thank you I really thank you if I can do the same for you I will or I have done already no ask some people uh, to help out I know they probably couldn't I knew there was, there was in big demand I knew it was in demand so, I, so when they told me they couldn't I, I understood no problem I, I get it trust me I, I know what it's like um, and people that have I thank you guys for some of you guys for some of you guys really have to sacrifice, sacrifice and help us out I'm not going to say no names because I, I'll miss them and I don't want to do that. So, to all those that helped out, I thank you. I appreciate you. But I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get nine eight back straight. By the time I'm finished, in twenty at the end of twenty twenty five, we should be good. Nine eight should be good. So whoever take over after that, it's not on me. I, I did my job. But I guarantee whoever take over take over in twenty twenty six is gonna come in right in to a to a region that's straight. Even if, if even if we only have thirty people. That's important. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a strong thirty, a strong thirty. Because fly two kits. Why not just sign for and fly two kits? I fly twice. You can fly twice. We couldn't do that back in the day. I had one kit. I guess what? I flew one kit. No matter what, I only got one kit, and that's how I left it. Nope. No. No. No ghost kit. Nope. One kit. Cause we we helped each other out so we have more qualifiers. It's, I don't know where all this selfish entitlement stuff come from. I don't I don't know where that come from. I don't get it. I don't I don't get that part. But all these dudes from other states helped us out. Some dudes from the interstate, but a lot of guys from other states helping us out in our in our auction. A lot of them. We kind of reached out to them and said, "Look, I got guys." There are some guys that can't pay for their. No, that that's. I know that ain't true. Some no, it, it, no. I don't think we got guys that can't pay for their first kit. Their fifty dollars for their first kit. Cause last year was was fifty for the first kit, but y'all pay. But then y'all pay fifty for the Royal Rumble, knowing you're not gonna fly. That's that's the part that gets me. 
You pay 50 bucks for the rump rum roll, knowing you don't have a kit. You don't have a kit. But you're paying 50 bucks to find a fly that you know you're not going to be ready for in three months. So you're putting your birds down in February to get ready for a fly that starts in June. Hmm. Wow. That, the math don't even add up. Six or 10 days to lay another 17, 21 days to hatch. That's a month right there. So now you put your bird in February, now you're talking about March hatching. And in April, getting the air good. And then two months from there, you're flying. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. I could breed some birds for the Royal Rumble. Dude, they ain't gonna be ready for the Royal Rumble. And some of these birds now don't have the percentage that's too be ready for the Royal Rumble. Come on now, be real. But you gotta, you got you. Royal Rumble is cool. That's probably, uh, that's, that's, that's a really good fly for us in Southern California. But we're not talking about the Royal Rumble. We're talking about you guys get ready for this national. I'm trying to take everybody up with it with me. I don't want to leave you behind. I went out my way to make the eleven bird fly work. I went out my way to do that. I'm local. I can judge everybody. I ain't gotta go far. Boom, boom, boom. No problem. I went out my way to do that. On weekdays, I'm judging people, giving dudes chance to fly, just so they to make sure they did fly. Not because we, we didn't have the space on other days, but to make sure they did fly. And every time I change the schedule between two people, I talk to them both personally to make sure they're both cool with it. That's what you do when you change something. You talk to both part, all parties involved, as a matter of fact. See how they feel about it. You don't just do it and then don't tell them about it and, and then Okay, I don't even go there. But anyway, so you guys know where I am. My number's still the same. Still the same. Like I said, been the same for 20 some years. Uh, that's two decades. Uh, probably older than my, my number been the same long as some of you guys been alive. But uh, hit me up. Let's get this thing cracking. Let's show what 9A can really do. We're not about parties and parties. It's not a party. Let's fly some pigeons. Right? Hit me up. Y'all know the deal. Select, breed, fly, select, again, repeat. That's it. I'm out.